Welcome to Design for the Creative Mind, a podcast for interior designers and creative entrepreneurs to run their business with purpose, efficiency, and passion. Because while every design is different, the process should remain the same. Prepare yourself for some good conversations with amazing guests, a dash of Jesus, and a touch of the woo-woo, and probably a swear word or two. If you're ready to stop trading your time for money and enjoy your interior design business, you are in the right place. I'm your host, Michelle Lynn. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Design for the Creative Mind podcast. We are here in Las Vegas still. And if you hear anything in the background, it's because we're at market and there's all sorts of fun things going on. So you might have heard the previous episode with Ivan Pinheiro and Heather Virtilino. We are back with Heather and her husband, Joe, because while we were sitting here chatting, they were talking about how our time together in the interior design business bakery has really had a ripple effect. And I was like, well, while we're here, look, I'd love to hear how it has impacted you and your family and just the the pros and the cons and hear your story. I have no questions because I don't know what we're getting into. Yeah, but thank I'll you. I'll just oh. start because I'm curious what he has to say from a participant. A spouse, a yeah, spouse one, yeah. slash friend. Yes. Partner. Yeah. But I, you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, you guys are so cute together. I <laughs> but the listeners were ce- celebrating nine years marriage. That's right. Our ninth anniversary is this week. That so, is so fun. Yes. Best we still are. like each other. And we are better friends at year nine than we were when we met. Oh, so that's sweet. Growing yes. in the right direction together. Yeah. It's a good thing. Uh, I I wanted to hop on just because when I think about Heather getting involved in the bakery. And I, I remember her seeing your videos like on Facebook or your promotional material. And she's like, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. And I never, I never doubted Heather's talent, super talented. And there's a lot of really talented people out there. But right. I think sometimes you can have the talent, but you lack the tools. Mm-hmm. You lack the community, like the belonging aspect. Yeah. Being an entrepreneur is lonely. Yeah. Yeah. And so the, you can lack the tools and the belonging and then the confidence. Mm-hmm. And I remember one of your things, you're like, you know, I love Jesus, but I cuss a little. <laughs> and I remember Heather saying, I'm a badass. That's like, right. <laughs> and you yeah, have, and I mean, you can't just, you can't just like make a huge shift in your business by being like, you know what? I'm a badass. But when you do combine what the bakery has offered mm-hmm. Heather, which is, giving her the tools to manage your business. Right. Giving her a sense of belonging and combining that with the confidence is the result that I love to see in Heather. I feel like she's a full expression of what she can be. And that was because of being able to be part of the bakery. Yeah. Well, and she got in there and did the work. Mm -hmm. So there's, you know, there's people who sit there on the sidelines and they have some good experience, but Heather's like that little unicorn who showed up every time, did all of the work and really went deep. I think that's part of it as well is because a lot of times we think it's just business, but you said it in an off-recorded conversation is that your business and your person are very commingled mm-hmm. and you have to do a lot of work on yourself and it reflects in your business where you do a lot of work on your business and it reflects on yourself. And that's been an interesting journey for me as well. Because I can tell when I'm getting off track on one or the other because <laughs> things are not balanced. Yeah. Things are not balanced at all. Yeah. One of the things I heard a um, friend and colleague of yours, yes. Tracy Tunnel, she even said, um, you know, even LeBron James has, has a, a coach. shooting coach. Yes. You know, and he's one of the best basketball players of all time. Mm-hmm. And so to have another person giving you the tools, giving you the support. Mm-hmm. It's lonely. It can be hard. Sometimes you feel like you're just treading water, treading about water. to turn on. Be, I mean, fake, honestly, like you feel like a fake. Yeah. Yes. yes. To just have a community of people who have been through similar things, who are there cheering you on, your mm-hmm. supporters um, and your friends, they care about you, yeah. is um, that community of over competition i've got friends all over the country yes, now and it's because I, you're so shy 
Oh, I like to blend it. I'm wearing the half pink dress of bananas. <laughs> yes. And then the ripple effect. So since doing the bakery, that mm-hmm. confidence of I can do this. I can run a business. I have the tools. I'm not just a good designer and right. I can toot my own horn because I'm a badass, but I've got the tools now. You and can make a living off you your can. challenge. Yes. And so back in 2021, in the fall, we were sitting down, Joe and I, and he was building a side hustle. I don't want to say hustle, but it was not a career at the time. Right. Um, He was doing that back in 2017. So it's been building for several years. And we were out to eat. And his dad was like, well, can you make, what do you need a week? Do you need a thousand bucks? Do you need 2,000? You know, like, what do you need? Can you do it? And I was like, well, I have tools now, you know, <laughs> like I can, like, we can, we can do this together. Oh, there wow. was this encouragement of like, um, you know, it, it's not a direct plug and play from design tools to what Joe does. And I'll right. like, give you the high level of that in a second. But it is this, you can have the right tools to run a business, but if you don't have the confidence, if you don't know your why mm-hmm. and what you're able to do, then you're just, you're not going to keep going, you know? Especially when it gets hard. When it gets hard, yes, yeah. you need that backbone. And so Joe, he was Teacher of the Year, City of Detroit, and the, the right. one and only Teacher of the Year that worked at a charter school. I don't know if that applies to all the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big, it was a big yeah. award. And it was definitely, you know, this time in his life of like, okay, I think I'm ready to make that next step. And he was building a public speak in uh, like a platform. A platform. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so through the encouragement that you gave me and the tools and the confidence, Joe and I, we would sit in the hot tub and we'd brainstorm all these business things. Oh, and God. so now he speaks at schools all around the country to both students and educators about identity and self-worth, touching on depression and anxiety and he might be able to explain that better, but to know that through your encouragement, Joe is now traveling. He's seen probably a million kids at this point in the last five years. Oh my gosh. Changing lives. Wow. So you never know what you can say or encourage other people, which can then lead to a life changing ripple effect to thousands, hundreds of thousands of people along the way. That's so thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. I was just going to say that you might think about getting into the bakery just because it's like, okay, this would be good for me. This would be good for my life. This would be good for my business. Mm -hmm. But all of us are connected to all these different networks. And a lot of, some of them might even just be in your own home. Right. So I know that I've benefited from the tools that Heather has gained because I don't think I would have the confidence to be able to venture out, start my own thing if I didn't know that my partner, my friend had the tools to help me. So that's an incredible ripple effect. And then the the second thing that I'm even more grateful for is that our kids, we have three kids, they're six and four and two, mm-hmm. and they get to see their mom and dad so alive in our passion, not drowning it, you know? Like, yes, it would be, it would be so sad for both Heather and I to be so good at something, but to be drowning because and devastated because we feel alone. Mm-hmm. So we don't feel like we have tools because we don't feel like we have community. Right. And our Older. kids get to see us alive in our passion and successful in it. I think that's really important for a kid yeah. to see their parents do yeah. that. Or even for our kids to really know that you can be X, Y, or Z when you grow up mm-hmm. because we believed in ourselves to take that step so now our kids can see us we're not just sitting at a corporate job wishing like ivan's story um which would probably be the previous episode of you know working a corporate job wanting to start the business in interior design right and like they're i want our kids to know we took the step yeah you don't have to have a job you can pursue your passion yeah and just and be successful at it and and work hard i mean it's not like you're sitting back eating bonbons and, you know, yeah. so today's it's hard. it's hard and it might even be harder, but it feels more purposeful and it feels like 
I am who I'm supposed to be. Yes. That's, oh, that's I love different. That. So yeah. I think hard feels even worse when you're like, I just don't think this is me. And I can do this if I know this is who I'm supposed to be. Yeah. You know, God has you exactly where you're supposed to be. That's I wake up that way when I can go and share and encourage and empower other women and, and gentlemen. <laughs> and I've been, <laughs> all these women and I've been. And <laughs> So in that respect, it's like, I know this is where God has me. So this story here is just so encouraging. Thank you for sharing it. I'm going to listen to this when I have those days where I'm like, oh man, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> definitely a VIP in our marriage. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And we wouldn't want to have a successful business and a struggling marriage. I think it's great to just see them both elevate at yes. the same time. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, so thank you. Thank you guys yes. for sharing. I want Joe to share Lionheart. And your Instagram handle and stuff like that as well. Sure. So that if any of the listeners want to have you come to their school, you go to the schools and yeah, and I can so explain forth. it real quick. Yeah, so if, you're li- if you're listening and you're connected to any type of education network, like your kids mm-hmm. go to school or your spouse it works at a school or you're connected somehow in mm-hmm. education, the rates of anxiety and depression, self harm for young people mm-hmm. are just staggering right now. And we've got a lot of things that are kind of trying to address it on a topical level, but it really just comes down to a sense of worth. All of those issues, Mm -hmm. anxiety, depression, self-harm with young people, they come back to how do I see myself? Why do I see myself that way? And why does, how does that impact the way I interact with the world around me? Right. And so that's the pool that my team and I hop into as schools Mm -hmm. and schools around the country bring us in the Lionheart experience. And they bring us in under the idea like we want our kids and our staff to walk out and feel a tangible sense of worth. And so my team and I, we come in, I speak and I travel with a group of my past students from inner city Detroit, but they're hip hop artists. And so we come in and we do this layered artistic experience in schools mm-hmm. where there's speaking and there's this huge canvas that gets painted and there's music. And it's all focused on connecting young people to a sense of worth and identity. So a lot of people bring us in under grants for social emotional learning, mental health awareness, self-harm, suicide prevention. Hmm. And we address and get in front of the whole K through 12 spectrum. We go to elementary schools, we go to inner city schools, we go to juvenile centers, we go to colleges because having a tangible sense of worth that you hold on to in your life is what anchors you. Right. And so that's what we do around the country. That. So the Lionheart experience.com. And then my Instagram is at Lionheart teacher. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. I think it's really important that the audience knows that that's an option and we yeah. can have more ripple effect. Mm-hmm. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Yes. Be here. Thank you. I'm, not- I'm so proud of you. Oh, and you. the impact you're making. Thank you. Yes. Okay, I have to speak in a couple hours and I'm going to cry. And thank you guys for listening. And for those of you who are interested um, in learning more about the Interior Design Business Bakery, you can head on over to designedforthecreativemind.com. You'll find all the information there under Bakery, the Summit, all the things. And then finally, join our free community on Facebook. It's the Interior Designers Business Launchpad. And yes, I know it's Facebook. But that's the best place that we can run a free group and interact and have some fun together. So thanks again. We'll catch you next time. Hey, y'all. If you love the show and find it useful, I would really appreciate it if you would share with your friends and followers. And if you like what you're hearing, want to put a face with a name and get even more business advice, then join me in my Facebook group, the Interior Designers Business Launchpad. Yeah, I know. It's Facebook. But just come on in for the training and then leave without scrolling your feet. It's fun. I promise you'll enjoy it. And finally, I hear it's good for business to get ratings on your podcast. So please drop yours on whatever platform you use to listen to this. We're all about community over competition. So let's work on elevating our industry one designer at a time. See you next time.